Hi children, my name's Claire and I work for the church and I would normally be coming into school to see you in assembly but unfortunately at the moment we can't do that. So I'm here, I'm on screen and I'm here today to talk to you about a very special event that's coming up very soon called Remembrance Day. Before that though, I've got a question to ask. Have you all remembered this morning to brush your teeth before you came to school? Hmm, I hope so. Have you all remembered to put your school uniform on before you came to school this morning? Let me just have a look. Hmm, yes, I think you did, didn't you? Well, with this is easy to remember, isn't it? Because this is something that we do every single day. So we get up, we put our uniform on, we brush our teeth and we leave and go to school. But some things we need a little bit of help to remember. And if you're like me, my memory is not very good and I have to use lots of different things to help me remember to do stuff. So it might be that I have to write stuff in my diary. I might have to um, put it into my calendar on my computer so that it pops up to tell me. Um, and sometimes I write little notes on those little sticky pieces of paper and I leave them all over the place so that hopefully I'll see them and I'll remember what I need to do. Usually I do remember. At this time of year though, there is something very special that helps us to remember an event that happened many years ago. Have you got one of these? So this is a poppy. And the poppy we see around a lot at this time of the year because the poppy is a symbol that helps us to remember all the soldiers who died in the First World War. And actually, it's a little bit more than that. It's more than the First World War. This helps us to remember all the soldiers across the world who fight for our freedom every single day. Following the First World War, there was the Second World War, and there have even been wars during your lifetime. Thankfully, not here in the UK, but across the world, there are wars going on where soldiers are fighting for people's freedom. And so the poppy is a symbol that helps us to remember all of those soldiers, and particularly those who lost their lives during those wars. And on the 11th, of November, the day that the war ended, we wear our poppy and we remember those soldiers. As well as the poppy, it is actually quite an easy time to remember because it actually occurred at the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month. So at 11 a.m. on the 11th of November, we normally have two minutes of silence. And in that two minute silence, we wear our poppy, we close our eyes and we think about all those people who lost their lives whilst fighting for freedom. So if you've already got your poppy, brilliant. And if you haven't yet got one, then I'm sure you've still got time to get one. These are sold by the British Legion and the British Legion um, use the money that they make when they sell the poppies to help families who've been affected by war. So whether it's ex-soldiers who've come back home to live in a normal life um, or whether it's families who have lost somebody um, who has been killed whilst they've been at war then the money that they raise goes to help a lot of those families. And you can just donate however much you want to, to pay for your poppy. Now on the Sunday morning closest to the 11th of November, quite often we will see big parades happening in towns and villages across the UK. And on the TV, we will see the parade in London, um, which is attended by lots of important people, lots of politicians, members of our royal family. And they will go and lay poppy wreaths at something called the Cenotaph. 
and the cenotaph is a monument that is there to help us to remember the soldiers who died in the war. Now this year might be a little bit different, it's unlikely that we're going to be able to have those parades because we know we can't gather in large crowds and so we need to find different ways that we can help to remember those soldiers. So I've been busy making some bits and pieces that I think would be really good to put in my window to remind the community that it is Remembrance Day. If you look behind me on the door, you can see that uh, I've made a poppy wreath and this is really easy to do. You want to have a go at home. You could ask um, your adult at home to help you. You will need some red paper and some black paper and a piece of card. OK, if you haven't got red or black paper, then you could always get some white paper and colour it in, couldn't you? And you'll need to create some red circles and some black circles. OK, so the red circles need to be a little bit bigger than the black circles. And if you get four red circles and you bunch them together, you get your poppy shape. And then you get your black circle and you put it in the middle. So you get your poppy, create your poppy with your four red circles and your black circle. And there's your poppy. And then with your piece of card, you cut a circle with another circle in the center. And then you just need to stick the poppies all round the cards. You'll need to make quite a few of these. You probably need about 14 or 15 to cover your circle, depending on how big your circle is. You can make those and make your own poppy wreath. And I'm gonna pop mine in the window a little bit closer to poppy day. If that seems a bit complicated, there are some easier things that you can do as well. You'll also see um, just behind me, there's some posters and these are really easy to download from um, there's a few different sites. These ones I've got from Colouring Heroes and you can also have a look at Baker Ross as well. They've got some on there. So if you've got somebody at home that can help you and you can print it out, then you can download the templates and you can colour them in. So I've got some behind me already done and then I've got some that I need to get busy with. Now something that the soldiers would have had um, whilst they were at war is one of these. Lots of the soldiers um, would have had a Christian faith, um, not all of them, but some of them would, and they would have been given one of these little Bibles. And it's just a pocket sized Bible that they could have kept in their uniform and it would have helped them feel closer to God, particularly if it's by their heart, they would have felt close to God. And they would have read that on a night time and probably prayed from that as well. And so another thing that I thought would be really nice to do, I'm going to pop in my window, is a peace dove. And this is my prayer dove. So all I've done for this, if you have a look, I have literally drawn round my hand. So on a piece of white card, I've drawn round my hand and cut it out. You might have to be a bit careful with the scissors, but I've cut that out of the card. And I've just put a little extra pointy bit there for the beak of the dove. OK, and then I've just written in the tail or the fingers of the dove, the people that I would like to pray for. That I want God to look after all my family and my friends. And again, I will put that in my window to remind my community that Remembrance Day is coming up. And we are praying for all those soldiers and those families who lost their lives. Shall we pray together like the soldiers? Lord Jesus, we pray. For people who are angry, bring them peace. For people who are upset, bring them peace. For people who are greedy, bring them peace. For people who are afraid, bring them peace. For people who need help, bring them peace. For people who are sad, bring them peace. For all our soldiers from the past, serving now and in the future, bring them peace. Amen. So now we know why we wear a poppy on Remembrance Day and we also know how to make our own poppy wreath 
um, and lots of ideas of things that you can do this year because Poppy Day will be a little bit different to normal. Decorate your window just like we did back at the beginning of lockdown with our rainbows, but let's do it with our poppies instead. It's been lovely to see you guys and to tell you all about Remembrance Day and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye.